Munchos, my name is Harsh. I'm Shreyas. And what are we doing today, Vardya? We're following up on this new age watchman that is stirring up a lot of stuff. Of course, welcome back to Munch on This. And we're talking about the new TV series, Dropped yes. by HBO. They will know. We're four, four, exactly, we're four episodes in. Yes. And there's just so much juicy stuff to talk about here. Right. Especially as Watchmen fans, there's yep. just so many so many threads to just pull on. Yes. And just have a lot of fun with. So right. let's just dive into this, man. Let's do this. Yeah, so we're going to follow up on as much as we can. Because like with every episode, it's just becoming more and more and more and more. Of course. So it the world's to... expanding, the world yeah. building, and it's been doing, it's been done really, really well. Totally. Even Lindlow's done a kick-ass job with this world. For it was sure. set 30 years after the events of the first, yes. the original Watchmen. Yes. The world building here, whatever's happening, yeah. the seventh cavalry, Damn. all of it, all the characters, yeah. all of it's done really well. Right. So there's a lot to talk about it, definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean talking about characters, there are so many both old characters in terms of references. Right. And so many new characters. And they're sprinkled across so well. Oh my god. Like every episode is just like one, two more, one, two more. Yeah. So yeah, why don't we break it down character wise? And we're gonna start with the craziest, biggest anomaly that we have, and that's Jeremy Irons, Adrian White. Yes. Holy shit, like is it fair to still call him Ozzy Mandias? Like, okay, former Ozzy Mandias. Former, former, yeah. Um, was name, yeah. Right, but yeah, what we know is he's in this exile slash right. prison. Is it self imposed? Is it by Manhattan? Is it by the government? What's happening yeah, here? Yeah, exactly. We have all a mystery. All a mystery. Right. Um, Apparently, in the real world, he's presumed dead. Right. His company has been sold to someone else. Yeah. yeah. And uh, apparently, he's not playing that Ozzy Dias role anymore. Right. Uh, so, what we know from the comics versus the Zack Snyder's movie, which I personally really like, yeah. that was my entry into Absolutely. watching. Right. Uh, in the original source material, his so called plan is to launch this giant ass squid. squid. And a leash on the world. And leash it, yeah. People come together. Exactly. New York City, yeah. 3 million people dead. A small price to pay right. for world peace. Of that, course. that was yeah. his plan back then, which is why we see the sprinkling of these squids yeah. every now and then. You see, right? Yes. Uh, and apparently, from the last episode, we know that um, there is this portal like nature yeah. where these creatures are still Coming moving in through, room, yeah. right? right. Uh, and that's also explored from what we see in his world where he's transporting his creatures, so to say and they're going frozen because he may be on the moon yeah. or he's burning them, he is obsessed with Dr. Manhattan There are clones but they're not his, his creation, yeah. they're just made to serve him so there's just a lot of intrigue, there's a lot of mystery going on right. around what's happening with Osman and Dias right. and I really kind of like that as a fan of Watchmen yes. Watchmen's yes. never been a straight up series, yeah. right? it's always yeah. made you ask questions it's always kept you thinking. What's it's always kept on you, kept you on your feet, on your feet. Right. And David Lindelof is doing a bang up job, man. Absolutely. And obviously his arc doesn't finish there. It's just Absolutely. building on more and more right. and more. I'm really interested in seeing how it ends by the end of the season now. Totally, totally. And now we apparently have this Ozzyman Dash 2.0, who yeah. is and is like a very real right. connection by buying out his company. And right. this is Lady Liz True. 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 But then yeah, the I like the play on the word true. True, yeah. And the way she talks, uh, she has this image of you know making this wonder of the new world. Yeah, the eight, the new yeah the, the first new, wonder. Yeah, the, the first wonder in the new world. New world. The Millennium Clock. Right. Like, what does it do? This massive but structure. I'm pretty sure whatever's like whatever's going on here, yeah. like whatever she's trying to show that is going yeah. on here is not what's going on. I'm pretty sure that's like a weapon of mass destruction or some shit like that. It but she like does. One. She's very prominently Ozzy Dias 2.0. Yeah. Right? I, I mean, I I think that still could be the the creators and the director kind of throw you off. Yeah, could be. Yeah. yeah because. I almost see each and every character trying to play the Ozzy and Dias role exactly. where they're trying to like stir shit up and for the greater good right. yeah so yeah so this character she uh, so so what we know from Watchmen is that the Watchmen had a huge role to play in the Vietnam war yeah uh, obviously in real history they lost the war or they counted as a draw and they gave right. McDonald's as a payoff but uh, yeah, so uh, you know, so from the 50 states, uh, 50 stars on the flag, they went to 51, 51 right. which is why we see different American flags, and we have the stars in the center. Right. And uh, Lady True was there. Angela Abar was born there. Absolutely. She lost her uh, parents there. She doesn't know of her heritage. Right. Um, Even her grandfather was in Vietnam. Yeah. So <sighs> so much going on. Yeah. So right. yeah, like we said, she's probably Oz- Ozzy Mendes 2.0. Right. I still think that's way too obvious considering how everything else is going on. Right. Um, and yeah, in terms of like she has insane wealth, she is apparently the source of the clones. Of course, I, I think that 
the uh, for the first scene in the fourth episode yeah. that, like establishes that where she comes into this to the uh, farmer yeah, yeah. Like, she comes in barges and she just buys up the entire place yeah what is that i have no idea but i just can't you know wait to see Find how it, how it unwraps because right. you can see very prominently all the other, like you already said all the characters are trying to stir shit up yeah. and even though we've seen that the 7th cavalry is clearly after the police and that's yes. like good that's going to be a really big problem yeah. but this i think with lady true here yeah. i think she's trying to stir up something that that could possibly world ending it's like global which is, yeah. yeah which would probably require manhattan's attention yeah and as a fan <laughs> i really, i'm really hoping it's worth it right, right right i mean i would still like dr manhattan to literally come as a post credit or like a final episode yeah, final clip yeah. Yeah, where you just see him wearing a suit and you just see a blue arm. Yeah. That's it. And then <laughs> you obviously discover more in the next season if right. there is one. But I feel we do get everyone hooked. Absolutely. Yeah. But yeah, now that we're talking about Don, Dr. Manhattan, we know that in the original source material, he right. basically feels extremely disconnected from Earth, humanity, society, yeah. and he self-exiles himself. He's become one with time. He's become one with the universe. Yeah, all of that. Absolutely. He's, he's left for left Earth. Correct. He was back in yeah. Mars. Yeah, self-exiles. Someone's Mars. still in love with him though. Yes. <laughs> and yeah, he's building these weird structures. And literally in the first episode. you look at so apparently uh, there's surveillance of dr manhattan yeah. as a camera you can talk to him yeah and uh, we see his structure just like being crumbled yeah and so we are we've seen that structure crumbling reference two three times in the wow. past four episodes we see angela ebar's adopted kid yeah. having some fancy ass magnetic toy and he like gets out of that whole structure and, and that's what i was talking about all these original the og yes. as minute men and you know they they just they oh, they man yeah the images and references just sprinkle throughout the yeah. series so as an original fan of the original series or yeah. original comics or the original movie right i think there's a lot to love for everyone yeah. and i'm really hoping there's something going on with the kids and everyone who's acting like man at a little bit yeah i really hope this moment also their dad you have a big theory about of Kat. course i do not believe you get an actor like Black abdul Manta. abdul mum yeah who is yeah yeah abdul mutti mutti the second, the second <laughs> who is black manta <laughs> as you all know from the aquaman series yeah as just a sidey as just the husband to the main hero i mean and yeah obviously in this last episode there's some freaky yeah. forgetting shit right. going on so we don't know there's there's, there's, a, there's an accident yeah there's there's an accident. Are, there are things that he doesn't remember yeah. there are things that people don't know about him right. so there's a, there's a certain amount of mystery and yeah mystery as surrounding him yeah. and i think is going to it's going to be one of the you know most interesting like, uh-huh, moments yeah, yeah. and like ooh this is going to be fun yeah i remember very first episode he's like do you think they're going to such a kick ass character such a kick ass actor yeah. to play a sidey yeah. character and i'm like for sure like i don't make sense but i don't know let's see let's they were a really weird kick ass power couple that's true uh, but yeah finally our last og we have six specter 2 formerly yes. now she is lori blake like, yeah. and she is like Like I like how the ending of the very first episode was exactly how comedian died. Right. Instead of doing the smiley face with the blood, they did the chef, the, the badge with the, with the blood. Right? Oh my god, that was very good throwback. Yeah, beautiful. Again. Right. And uh, yeah, but and and the original series after vigilantism is outlawed. Yeah. Everyone goes to their normal lives. No one knows who they are, right. or they're you know doing it behind the scenes under the shadows, like Rashi Axel Gunner right. news. The only one who's actually still working out in the open for the government is comedian, comedian and he's right. working for the government, right? right. In the series, Laurie Blake is doing exactly yeah, that. So she's like she's comedian to her own. Yeah, less, less, and she does have a sick, sick sense of humor that she that yeah. comedian's supposed to have. The way she talks, she is the daughter of comedian. Yeah, secondly, it's so. so weird. That is so weird. Like I thought her conversation with Doctor Manhattan. You know, I'm like, why is it happening in the background? Is it just there to make it sound creepy, like someone's narrating something? But just the callback and the way they ended that last yeah. last last episode. Holy shit! Like. It is going to be a very fulfilling arc I think yes. and yeah she's she's there now and she is she is what she the head of the bureau that uh, has gone with vigilante yeah vigilante is yeah <laughs> so that that's fun to see she she kicked batman's ass so yeah. that happened. was he shadow <laughs> revenge or was it shadow, shadow, shadow yeah um so yeah so like okay new world but in the same world still new stuff right. but old stuff exactly new characters it's playing crazy. older characters yeah. so it's going to be a lot it, it is already so much fun and right. I, i can't wait to see how it builds up you know man exactly so enough about the old characters let's talk about some new characters throughout the trailer there was so much of build up i was you know trying to see how would they make this new age watch when it didn't make sense to me before i saw the right. first episode and oh my god sister night 
is so badass. She's a badass, straight up. Jesus Christ, <laughs> even without her mask, yeah. she's so badass. And I remember seeing her in the trailer, and I'm like, yeah, this doesn't look good. What the hell? Right. I don't understand that BD fucking thing that she has, where she like yeah. whacking people or whatever. But she is so badass. Her amazing. car is so badass. Regina Knight is oh. doing an amazing job. Totally play, playing her. Uh, this Angela yes. a- Abar. Abar. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, she's obviously the main character we follow her all through and through. Yeah, she's almost and, like main character. Exactly, and she you are the by the series actually really works really really well. I yeah. think till till now is because she is I think the viewer's eyes, and yes. she's. And she exactly we're watching through her perspective, right. and even she doesn't completely grasp everything that's going on. Yeah, at the yeah, yeah. Right. She doesn't understand what's in play, what's happening, yeah. and I think that kind of builds up the mystery even for the audience. So totally. that's been really, really great. Totally, and uh, I mean, along with her, there are other vigilantes or basically people still working uh, with the police right. with the whole mask setup going on, and. Uh, I wasn't very sold on Looking Glass. Like his mask is freaking insane, and I. I love him. <laughs> yeah, and I thought like obviously he's Looking Glass, and I like how you know Crawford takes his case. Yeah. Laurie takes his case, so they're like, if you're gonna wear a mirror, you're gonna expect people to like look at themselves, right? right? Uh, but yeah, but the whole combination of Looking Glass, his interrogation technique, yeah. where he talks inside that pod. Yeah. Is that Osha two part? Oh, I mean, was. oh my it's god! So, so reminiscent of him. Man. Yeah, the reflection on his right. reflective mask is just insane, and it took me like I almost watch every episode twice because I'd miss out these small, small sort of right. things that are just thrown to just make everything sing. Right. The soundtrack, the way it's written, the way it's directed, the transitions, like even this oh, last episode. Short, short transitions, man. Yeah, done so well. Absolutely. I mean, there's this one scene where uh, Sister Knight she has this duffel bag and it's a little dark. She opens the boot of her car. Puts the duffel bag inside. As soon as she closes it, she then opens it. It's daytime. She takes yeah. out the duffel bag, and you already move from like one scene to the other uh, scene. Yeah. And I'm like, that was done so exactly. well. Exactly done. And even though that's that, done. yeah, even though that wasn't a plot point, it's just so beautiful to see. Yeah. And then when we see uh, Agent White launching the bodies of his clones. Oh, and seeing guy, right? yeah, seeing them disappear to the portal or whatever. It's so weird. Aiden White's entire arc is so weird. Like, like this. No, I can't wait to see more of this guy. Right. And then obviously he's looking through his telescope, and then you just zoom out, and then it goes to the moon yeah. that view, and then like, oh, is he on the moon? Yeah. So. I mean, it's just yeah. These transitions, the way it's working, is just blending in so well. They're not they're not yeah. there for the sake of it. The soundtrack, oh my god, yeah, the soundtrack, really, really good. Just the synthy vibes going yeah. on, and just it builds up tempo before the scene actually. Yeah, and the first season, first episode in itself had music by Future. Oh yeah. So yeah, of course. Right. right. That's gonna work. Right. So yeah. So uh, the other new characters that we have that are not that prominent, but we have Red Scare, who's not that scary. Yeah, not that scary. He's the guy from Limitless. Yeah. He's the Russian mob guy from Limitless. <laughs> Right. But, but one thing that I really like this last episode, like the whole sort of theme of the Watchmen is like who's watching the Watchmen, Watchmen right. which is where I think Russia sort of had such a pivotal role in the right. original source material. Here we have Lube Lube Man. Man. <laughs> what is that? And that was a hilarious sequence, more or less. That I chased down the alley and then just pushed Lube and jump jumps into a yeah yeah. Is it is it better? Nice? I hope not. <laughs> I really hope not. <laughs> That are messed up. So, yeah, so we don't know who's good, who's bad. We don't know what their motivations are. I think the only thing that we can go by is that we know these characters from source material, right? And we can only reference it to that extent. But where it's gone in terms of building this new world, playing it in 2019, right. and even setting up the stakes. I mean, it's just it's, it's insane. Not me who got that solution. Yeah, and and the thing is, we know that it was nuclear war in the original right. source material. Uh, it was this doomsday clock, five minutes to midnight. Right. Here, everyone's doing TikTok, TikTok. Yeah. But to what? We have no idea. Something big's coming up. Yeah. I mean, and finally, I think there's there's one weird shit going on, weird thing going on with the guy in the wheelchair. Oh yeah. William Reeves is he the ultimate baddie? Is um, he Manhattan? Oh my god. He didn't say he's Manhattan. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's insane. So he was at the murder scene. Yeah, he has friends in high places. And he's been very, him. very adamant about the fact that he's the one who killed George. Yeah. So he's yeah, he just doesn't want to let that go. So right. And, and apparently the pills make him stand up now. He's hundred plus. Hundred plus. Yeah, and he can walk. He does not need the wheelchair. So there's a lot of mystery around all these characters. 
had almost everyone even the even the relationship between Cal and you know uh, Angela his wife yeah, yeah even this this is some so some mystery there right and i think the world's doing a really good job of right. establishing following and getting people hooked right right so that wraps up this video yes uh, i hope you guys like this and please do if you did like share subscribe as usual yeah. i'm catching again on good man film me as well yeah yes. reviews coming up yeah doctor sleep doctor sleep up really soon so yeah. we we'll see you guys there and like share subscribe as usual guys cheerio sure.